Hi there, it's Denise with Ladybug Stamp, and here's another video tutorial for you guys. And guess what? It's the 25th of the month, which means it's time for another Christmas Challenge Stampathon 2018 tutorial. Challenge. Tutorial? No, challenge. <laughs> That's a mouthful, y'all. Okay, and this month we have something a little bit different for you guys. What well, we have created a sketch. Um, and what we would like for you guys to do is to create a card using this sketch your, or your take on this sketch. Uh, you can do anything you want. You'll see that um, all four of us have something just a little bit different. Uh, so, you know, whatever you guys choose to do, we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And don't forget to click on the link below to the Facebook group uh, for the Christmas Challenge Stampathon and to post your photo, the photo of your project underneath the the um, post that is marked for um, July 25th okay make sure and not just not don't do it as a separate post but post it on, uh, you know as a comment uh, to that post that has for July okay and then also the rules are you do need to have this in by midnight in your prospective countries by the 24th of August because then on the 25th of August we'll have a new challenge all right, so here's the sketch. I'll let y'all look at it one more time. And then here's my take on the sketch. Okay, so I did mine just a little bit different. And, and instead of using DSP, I decided to use ribbon um, as my, like my, for my rectangles. And because um, I've been having, I had a car, this idea in my head using this particular ribbon. And when this sketch came up, um, and actually, Rosalie from Australia is the one that created the sketch, so I'm gonna give kudos to her. And um, so I knew I knew that's what I was gonna do was use this ribbon. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started um, and get this card completed. All right. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of powder pink cardstock, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. And then we've got a piece of lemon lime twist, which is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And a piece of uh, whisper white that is cut at four by five and a quarter. We have a scrap piece of uh, whisper white. And then you will need a scrap piece of powder pink. And I've already die cut this one, so, um, but you will need a scrap to, to for this right here, okay? We're gonna stamp on this piece right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our, our stamping done. We're gonna be using lemon lime twist. This is the only stamping on this card. Okay. And we're going to be using um, the Merry and Bright from the Just Another Wonderful Year stamp set. This is, you get two, and it's all these particular greetings. It's a great set to start off because it has, you know, um, like a Christmas one. Uh, I mean, thank you. You can even use that for Thanksgiving. Um, birthday, a friend, a hello, a thank you. So... Yeah, got a great set. So we're gonna use this Merry and Bright. I'm just gonna put that and we're using our C block. I'm gonna ink that up. Yeah, and then just right dab in the middle. There you go. And then we're going to use our layering circle framelits to die cut this. And what I used um, let me show if I can show you guys this. So it's this one right here, and it would be, I think this is like the one in uh, seven eighths by one and seven eighths is what I tried to measure it with using my grid pad. So you're gonna take this, and then with a piece of powder pink, you're gonna use this one right here. So it's the, the second one in on each side, and you're gonna run, um, use this one for your powder pink. But again, we've already done this one, okay? So. I'm going to go run this through the big shot. But guess what? Through the miracle of television, I already have one ready. So we're going to take this and we're going to, I've already put adhesive on it. And we're going to attach this to this. So you just have a little bit of a powder pink border. So it just looks like that. Sweet. Super sweet. All right. And then the other pieces that we're going to need, um, these are about, this one's about two and three quarters, and this one is about three, yeah, three inches, and they're a half an inch um, wide. Yeah, this one might be just a little bit more than half an inch, but that's just because of the way I cut it. 
All right, and we're gonna be using our um, tailored tag to create our banner. And you're gonna actually punch using this area right here. We're just gonna turn it around. So if you need a flat, and you could actually do this, you know, I think this is, what would that be? Almost three inches across there. So you could do up to a three inch piece of cardstock with that. All right, so we're just gonna go to the very edge and I'm just gonna punch it. And when you've got this little point right here, I will tell you, try to make sure it's in the middle of the cardstock as much as possible. It may not be perfect, but it's okay. Okay, and we're gonna do the whisper white one. That was early espresso. That's the three inch. And the whisper white's the two and three quarter. Okay. I am gonna need this um, silicone mat. That's why I've got it laid out. All right, then we're gonna take some snail. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here in the middle. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna attach it to the early espresso, like a shadow in a way. Okay, just offset just a little bit. Kinda like this. And then we're gonna take this one and we're just gonna go straight down so here's your Mary and Bright. So we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna go straight down right there, okay? So it's just straight down the middle. So it will fit right on there. And you're gonna put that right in the middle. Okay, so that's ready to go. Getting ready for our card. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Whisper White piece. I'm gonna set it right here. Okay. And we're gonna use these. I cut. Um, we're gonna use this ribbon right here, and this is our um, lemon lime twist and powder pink, and it is uh, mini ruffled ribbon, and it's about mm, not quite. It's about seven eight inch wide. So we're gonna use this. I've already cut these strips down. You're gonna need three of the lemon lime twist and three of the powder pink, and these are just a little bit larger than the five and a quarter inch. So we're gonna come back and trim them off, okay? So we're gonna take our um, snail and I'm gonna take some right here in the middle on the edge. You can go the whole length of the ribbon, but just, I, I like to do this one first to make sure I get it, just in case I have to take it up for some reason. And you're gonna take it down just a little bit from the top because you want these to be spaced evenly as possible, okay? And then we're gonna take our powder pink, a little bit in the middle. This way, if we have to lift them up, it won't tear the paper completely, hopefully. And you can lay them down really soft at first, and you can even pre-lay them down, and then come back and um, pick them up in, um, like if you wanna do this. This one is curving turning a little bit so it's not I don't know why that's doing that you can come through here like this and lay them down first to kind of see where you want them okay to make sure they're gonna be evenly as much evenly spaced as you can you know it's gonna be a little bit difficult so we're gonna I'm just doing this on the edge and they're gonna lay this next one so this the ribbon it's supposed to, the ribbon combo is like representing the um, pipe, the cardstock, DSP, whatever you choose to use as your rectangles, okay? And we're just gonna put this one down. And I'm trying to make these the same, you know, space in between the two ribbons as I have up here. All right, this is gonna be, this is like the longest part of the video, I think is this right here. Ah, because of the, trying to get those laid out. Okay. And then, and I know I used the same powder pink ribbon in the video I posted yesterday, um, but I mean, I guess I just like this color. I especially like these two colors together, so that's why I chose them. Okay, now we're just gonna take our scissors, we're gonna turn our card over, and we're gonna trim these off. Now, there will be some adhesive on the ends, so you're, um, 
You may have to clean your scissors afterwards if you need to. Your paper snips. Okay. And if it frays a little bit on the end, I'm not worried about that. It just adds to the character of the card. I kind of want it really to fray. Uh, the first one I made, I had the ribbon wrapped around, and it was just too bulky, and I didn't like it. So, all right. I'm going to put this to the side. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to attach it to our lemon lime twist mat. Okay, I'm not worried about putting a whole lot on there. It's going to hold. It should hold. And we're going to mat it on here. And then we're going to take our card base. We're going to fold this in half, or you can score it at um, four and a quarter. And burnish this to make sure it lays flat. All right, and then we're going to add some adhesive to this one. I'm going to put it on here. Like this. All right, and then here we're going to take some of our mini dimensionals. And we're going to take two. We're just going to, I'm going to lay it down first, kind of see where I, I'm going to eyeball it as far as where I'm going to put my mini dimensionals. So I need them here and here at the ends. So, okay. So it's kind of sitting on, the dimensional is sitting on the um, cardstock, not the ribbon. Okay. About right here. Yeah. All right, there you go. And now I have four cards ready for my challenge for July. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks and talk to you later. Oh, wait, one more thing. I will post links for the other ladies to their, um, to their website so that you can go see their cards. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye.